the likelihood of an eruption has increased. We're talking about Mount Ruapehu. The tremors are highest in nine years. Now, for those of you not living in New Zealand, Mount Ruapehu, pronounced Ruapehu, Ruapehu, is on the North Island of New Zealand there, right where the Red Arrow is, pretty centrally located. And Ruapehu is one of New Zealand's most active volcanoes. It's a complex stratovolcano constructed during the last four cone building episodes dating back to about 200,000 years ago. Dominant and acidic, 110 cubic kilometer volcanic massif is elongated in a north northeast south southwest direction and surrounded by another 100 cubic kilometer ring plane of volcanoclastic debris, including the northwest flank. Morimoto debris avalanche deposit. A series of subplinian eruptions took place between about 22,600 and 10,000 years ago. These were big explosions, maybe VEI 6, VEI 7, but pyroclastic flows have been infrequent. Now, the broad summit area above the flank contains at least six vents that have been active during the Holocene, and we'll get to the, those eruptions in just a moment. But frequent to moderate explosive eruptions have been recorded from the Tewa'amo Crater Lake vent. And Tefra characteristics suggest that the Crater Lake may have formed as early as 3,000 years ago. And there's that Crater Lake in question. Now, about two and a half weeks ago, the alert level was raised on Mount Ruapehu. The volcanic alert level was raised from one to two with the possibility that conditions at the volcano could lead to something like the comparatively small 2007 eruption, which was VEI-1. Although it's also possible there won't be any eruptive activity at all. We're going to go over all the data right now. This is the latest update today from Volcano Discovery. Temperature continues to increase. Volcano remains at alert level two. The volcano continues its heating cycle. As scientists recorded that the crater lake temperature now has risen from 32 to 36 degrees centigrade over the past few days. In addition, tremor levels and degassing activity have been elevated. While this could be a sign the volcano is headed towards an eruption, it is still believed to be more likely to be within the normal typical range of the volcano's periodic heating cycles and might revert again to a cooling cycle without eruption following. The problem is that there was a drastic reduction in gases and they think that there may be a plug forming at the vent in the bottom of the crater lake. Now, if we come over, here is the tremor, the micro tremor, and it has been increasing. It's a pretty big event right there. And you can see that the earthquake activity over the last seven days has been, well, let's say it's not significant, but it's not insignificant. Some pretty large rumbles, one here at five kilometers and a, about an M3 here at 35 kilometers. But it looks like the quakes are lessening. So that's good news. Now, the bad news is if you listen to what I said earlier when we started the podcast, that prior to the Holocene, Ruapehu was experiencing 12,000 years of subplinian action. These are huge uh, eruptions that go very high in the sky, similar to Hunga Tonga. That happened to be ultra Sertzian. But Ruapehu in recent times has been quite quiet. The eruptive history is VEI 1 in 2007, that was a, a choked vent. A VEI-1 in 2006, probably another vent cloggage, and 1997 a VEI-1. But back in 96, there was quite an impressive VEI-3, another VEI-3 in 95. So the VEI-3s come back to back. And if we go all the way back in time, this volcano during the Holocene 
about 10,000 years ago erupted at VEI4, the upper north flank. So because it's in a populated region, this could be a significant eruption if it is VEI3 or 4. So we'll keep a close eye on it for you. As it doesn't look like the seismicity is indicative of an eruption, the micro tremor may be telling us something. And certainly the temperature increase at the crater lake. So just to recap, Ruapehu volcano, the temperature continues to increase. Volcanic tremor is at the highest in nine years, which was back during the last eruption. And the volcano remains at alert level two. And that's a boom. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance as we keep a close eye on Ruapehu for you. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe.